coming soon on DVD and video. It's agreed a sin you have to make. working beyond human endurance to remove the stains of the sins you have committed. On God's name, we don't deserve this. That is enough! Disobedience will not be tolerated. Sisters only want the work done. They don't give a damn about you. We have to go. We have to go now. No one dying here. Max Films presents... Hey, pass, please, sister. You better be joking, girl. The triumphant true story of three extraordinary women who found the courage... Don't you dare tell me what to do! ...to defy a century of injustice. The Magdalene Sisters. place he would ever look. You come all the way from England to draw faces? At the last moment he could ever expect. Memories I've come in to forget. Oh, Monster. He found the one woman. Did you know this guy? That's the first I've heard of him on my fiance's wedding invitation. Here was your fiance? Who gave him hope. Do you want some? Not this morning, thanks. <laughs> There's just one problem. I've come halfway across the world to explain. The invitation was a joke. Well, yeah, it wasn't a joke. It was just a bigger hint. How can anyone do something like me? And you are Mandy. Is it Mandy with a Y or Mandy with an I with a little circle above it? I can't be any clearer on where we stand. Oh, God. Colin Firth, Heather Graham, Minnie Driver, Oliver Blatt, and Mary Steenburgen. She just came out to apologize. Oh, was she allergic to the telephone? In a romantic comedy. There's nothing to do with sex. Although, it kind of does seem like me like. Oh! About losing your mind. My hysterical ex fiance here is just on her way to the airport. Colin! And finding your heart. This one. Hope Springs. Coming soon to DVD and video. One more preview. some chips. Oh, yeah. In the quiet English town of Napoli, the women's club always did its part for charity. This year's fundraising calendar will feature homegrown vegetables. Thank God. For a minute there, I thought it was going to be dull. But this year, for Annie and Chris... What is it? John's sick. Charity is closer to home. I'd like to read something that Annie's husband, John, wrote. The Flowers of Yorkshire. Like the women of Yorkshire, the last stage of their growth is the most glorious. And the only way to raise more money than ever before is to go further than anyone ever imagined. We're planning a calendar for John. And, and, we're posing on it. And, that's about it really. Hey, kid. It's what John suggested. I didn't hear him use the phrase, whip your bras off. <laughs> now, they've got fears. We don't do nudity. We're not going to go around parading ourselves in a room full of men. This isn't... France. They've got issues. My mom's being weird. Women go through a difficult age. How do you know? My dad told me. And they've got to decide just how far they're willing to go. They'll never go through with it. You're looking at January. I love your honey! February. March. April. Inspired by the remarkable true story, the first glance it should look like a classic calendar, except the person is uh, naked. <laughs> 
Touchstone Home Entertainment presents a group of ordinary women. I'm 55. I'm not going to get him out now. When am I? Who change the world one month at a time. I want to raise money for John, and I'm prepared to take my clothes off for a calendar. Helen Mirren, Julie Walters. T-man is two hours. Brawls off to avoid strut marks. We're going to need considerably bigger buns. Calendar Girls. All right, Brenda Benu. Yes. 